Hello everyone, TechnoSuits Craig Chamberlain here. We are on the Dual Boot series and we are moving forward as fast as we possibly can. Now I know you were probably hoping that we would set it up so we can install our operating system this episode, but if we're going to do this, we've got to do it right the first time we do it. What happens when you have two drives that are primary drives and have their own operating system installed on them? And let's say you want to access a video on this drive that isn't on this drive, or pictures, or music, or whatever. You don't want to have to rip your music and movies and, and all that stuff to both drives, do you? It takes up double the amount of space for the same information. So what we're going to do today is actually create a third partition that is shared between these two partitions. And what we need to do is, is it's very simple to do. Just right click on your primary drive, which is your larger drive, and select resize slash move. Now, we've done this before and we got this little slider here and basically we can slide and say this, this is how much space we want for our logical drive shared between the two. But this is very important for you to decide right now. System data is all of your games that you install, all of your applications that you install. You need to make sure that you have enough on this system drive to, to basically withhold all the things you're going to install on it. Me, I don't do a lot of gaming on this particular computer, so I'm going to say 60 gigabytes is probably more than adequate since I'm only using 28.45 now. Actually, 50 gigs is probably more than adequate, but let's just go ahead and, and go with 60. Basically, then what I, need to, what I need to do is I need to resize this to 60 gigabytes, which is 60,480 megabytes. When I do that, that's going to space out this one for my 60 gigabytes, and it's going to create a third partition that's going to have 89, 90 gigabytes on it. And that 90 gigabytes is going to be shared between both of my operating systems because of how I'm going to format it. So decide how much you need. Basically, go through all the games that you're going to install or you think you're going to install. And uh, usually 60 to 80 gigs is, is good enough. And then go ahead and select OK after you've resized it to the size you want. It's going to lock the volume, and it's going to tell you, okay, we're going to have another unallocated space of 87.24 gigabytes. My primary drive is now only going to be 59.07, and we can look at it up here in the graph. And it's not going to actually apply it again, of course, until we go to the bottom left-hand corner and select Apply. It says one operation currently pending requires a restart, and again, we've done this in the past three episodes. Just check it off and click Yes. Well, that resize took about 30 minutes, which is pretty normal. I mean, it depends on the size of your hard drive and whether you have data on it already or not. There's a, a lot of criteria by which that happens. Of course, it's going to detect quote-unquote new hardware, most likely, depending on your operating system or what kind of resize you were doing. And then you just want to select Yes to do the restart. And now, after the second reboot, we are officially done with this so far. Now, this isn't going to replace your installations. You can't install something on this operating system, then expect to run it on this operating system just because you installed it on your third partition. This is more for data storage. But the re one, just one of the benefits is if, let's say, Windows XP corrupted, right? Well, I'd have to reinstall Windows XP on this partition and reinstall all my games and programs. Well, if I stored all my music and movies and videos and things like that on this partition, then it's completely separate from this one. So even if I have to do a Windows installation, reinstallation, I still have all my data on this one safe and sound. Same thing with this operating system. So it really gives you a partition that is safe from, you know, operating system corruption, corruptions. Uh, not completely safe from viruses, but it separates your data in the instance you have to reformat to get a virus or if you need to pull your data off separately. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to it. So just bear with me. I hope you guys are bearing with me on this. Uh, and we're going to move forward with the next episode. As always, leave comments and ratings. And don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for stopping by.